Today's video is a really simple but very important reminder that when we are working with children or families who've experienced trauma, often we think first about the need to create a safe environment where children and their families are safe. We need to make sure they're physically safe, that they're emotionally safe and their needs are being met there that they're socially safe, they know what's expected of them, what the boundaries are, and that they're cognitively safe. They can be brave and bold in their learning. That's really fundamental, and I come back to it time and time and time again in my teaching. But it's not enough just for them to be safe. We can do all the work there to ensure that those needs are being met, that the environment is safe. We've done it, we've ticked the box. However, if our learners and their families do not feel safe, then our work won't have the impact that we would like it to. So we need to think not just about how do we create this safety, fundamentally ensuring that people in our setting are safe. But how do we make sure they feel safe too? And that mainly comes down to communication, consistency and continuous reinforcement. So we start with doing making sure that need will be met and then we quickly move on to thinking how can we communicate that and check in with our learners on our families to make sure that they feel safe as well as being safe. Something to think about, I hope it's helpful.